Well, I asked, uh, <clears throat> I asked Marco what kind of uh, conclusions I should make. And he said, uh, don't worry, there won't be any people anyway. So you, you are at liberty to do whatever you want. And uh, I realized that Marco Bioni is never wrong, that uh, there are not many people, but I think there are important people who want to see that this uh, uh, conference is concluded well. Uh, I think we, the conference took place at a very, very interesting times. It's a 15th European conference, 150th anniversary of Politecnico de Milano, and it's a 20th anniversary of Green Fridge. I think it's a good, uh, good uh, opportunity for us to reflect that uh, we did introduce hydrocarbon in about uh, more than 500 million refrigerators. Uh, am I doing it correctly? Uh, we also had an interesting time that a freeze of HCFC has started in developing countries. So it's going to be a massive exercise over the next 20 years that uh, more than 35,000 HCFC ODP tons will be phased out. And an F-gas new regulation has been proposed. And uh, we also have the HFC phase down seems to be quite certain now, unless there are some doubting terms here which says that, oh, HFC phase down can never happen. But I can sense it, uh, again, uh, from the ring side, not from within UNEP, that HFC phase down is almost getting there. Though there are many oppositions like India and China, I can see that internal exercise of thinking on it is going on in a positive direction. Uh, Italian F-gas regulation, it was just mentioned, is a very active uh, Santro Studi Galileo because of the Italian F-gas regulations. And I must uh, say that this conference uh, concluded well, or concluding well, mainly because of the Bioni families and the Marco's dynamism and uh, his father's guidance. There is a positive opportunity for Italian youth and employment. I, I really feel that if all those getting trained are if gainfully employed, or those are the new ones which will come, it will help the Italian economy uh, and it would uh, probably set a train for uh, increasing and gainfully uh, engaging the youth in Italy. Uh, there has been a context. The context is that the gulf in emission gap is increasing year by year. Whatever is required for the emissions quantities to limit the temperature of 2 degrees centigrade is getting missed and we are seeing ever increasing emissions so that we the two degree centigrade limit increase seems to be out of control the energy efficiency therefore is on a top of agenda probably you have seen that a new energy secretary in usa ernst moines has set up three priorities in his term number one is the energy efficiency surprising the second is a nuclear, and the third is a natural gas, the clean energy. And today, the meeting going on in Bonn, and if you open up your computer and see what is happening there, or what happened yesterday, the whole Bonn meeting, people are talking about energy efficiency, energy efficiency, and energy efficiency. Because that seems to be the easiest way to do certain things. And hence, the appliances which will come out of the refrigeration and air conditioning, I think the energy efficiency seems to be on a top more than what kind of refrigerants you use, but that doesn't mean that you should use high GWP options. And HFC phase down proposals are being widely discussed all over the world in a developing countries and developed countries. There are 15 countries participated, that's what Marco tells me, and there are about more than uh, 190 participants, which are more than last year's participants. But very important is the speakers from industry, governments, EU, NGOs, and academics, all were there in presenting those more than 50 papers. And uh, interpreters, I'm sure, learned more than us, because they almost went line by line in, in translating what we heard. The success of conference was there are more than 50 but it's not only number, but there are very high quality papers. And, uh, and some of them, you know it very well from the industries as well as from the academics. And there's a wide spectrum of subjects. We have seen it from the mobile air conditioning to the room air conditioning to the commercial air conditioning and refrigeration. And uh, there was an intense interaction which you have seen it uh, all the time. So this is the cartoon. So I think we are going to make it a lighter moment. This cartoon was done when Ponzan meeting in Poland was there and uh, 
people kept on asking, what is the conclusion of this UNFCCC meeting there? And people said that motion was passed, which says, we will save the planet, but not yet. And I think we, we feel the same way today, that after reading all the 50 papers, we know that we are thinking well, but probably we are yet to act well. So speed and co cooperation is required, passion is required, but it has to be objective passion. And we all know that if the cooperation takes place, the cost goes down and speed enhances. And we know this very well, that it is not the strongest species that survive, nor the most intelligent, but once most responsive to the change. That's what Charles Darwin said. So let us be responsive at the end of this meeting and see whether we can face these emerging challenges. And uh, let's not wait till penguins start playing holly balls or the beach balls uh, on, the, on the beach uh, and uh, wait to see such things happening and take the action beforehand. Thank you very much.